What's happening, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Tell It. I'm one of your hosts, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank, and the other host is... Gooseberry. How y'all doing? Already. Hey, if this is your first time tuning in, we greatly appreciate it. It's a podcast we do every week, or most weeks at least, and we talk about... Uh, I don't know, whatever the hell Greg be finding most of the time. Everything. No. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Anyway, uh, we even call it Let Us Tell It because it's coming from two black men. We fathers, we husbands, we uncles, brothers, and all that jazz. Mm -hmm. uh, and we a lot more level-headed than what you be seeing out here in these social media streets. For the most part. For the most part. Yeah, yeah not all the way, but hey, we are in our 40s, so. Pew. We come from that generation. Anyway, we usually kick this off with getting something off our chest because pressure bust pipes. Goose, you got something you want to get off mm -hmm. your chest? I got something to get off my damn chest. These airport workers, uh, clerks, um, security agents, to be specific, these people have too much power, man. They have too much power. They can talk to you any type of way they want to, and they know you can't do nothing. I mean, you can't even, you better not yell back because they're going to send you to the back of the line or they're going to do something to where you gonna your time is going to be wasted terribly if you try to snap back at these people. And they just it's just too much power for one person to have. Example, this damn, I'm going to say this damn Jamaican guy. I don't know if that's going to come off bad. You're Jamaican, you Jamaican, know. so you can say that. Okay, well, this damn Jamaican guy. Y'all, I'm in line. The person in front of me, the person in front, the first person in line gets help, and they walk away. Then make that makes me the first person in line. I look up, and I ask the guy, hey, man, I'm here. This is digital ID on my uh uh, boarding pass, does this mean I have, before I could finish, this guy does this. He's facing me. Hold your question. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and he does on, not. Say, what he say, good? Hold your question. <laughs> and he looks off. As if I'm some type of peasant. <laughs> Y'all, I was, I was, you know how you, your child said something crazy to you and you look for something to throw at him. I was like, <laughs> this, man, this man, Josh, Josh is behind me. And y'all know I'm on this kick of like, man, don't let nothing get to you. Josh was patting me on my shoulder. He was like, hey, man, come on. 40 year old Greg, man, 40 year old Greg. Cause I wanted to be like, hey man, what the f wrong? You know, I wanted to. Man, who the hell you think you talking to? This <laughs> man, I'm telling you. Hard I'm hard. <laughs> I just got a headache. Hey, just like that. But looked away from me. This man was like, hold your question before I could get my question out. He ain't let me finish, oh, but what man. pissed me off the most <laughs> was that I am the first person in line. I didn't go around somebody. I didn't. I wasn't disturbing anybody. <laughs> he wasn't doing nothing. He was waiting on me. The the lines behind the security was backed up because of the book. I mean, because of the um, <laughs> the X ray machine. So they was holding the line. So they won't build up that line. I wasn't expecting that. I thought <laughs> it was going to be something extremely direct. Look, Like, sir, you need to move over here. No, no. First, no you need to move back. <laughs> oh, it's so. <laughs> Look, I Look. know. I, I have. I, go ahead, Goose. I'm sorry. Me and Josh was shocked, too. That Josh was more as shocked as I was. I was like, oh. what? I look back. Josh, oh, man. Josh was like, oh. What's it? So then. Right, so now I'm pissed off. So there's this big X. I mean, the X is huge on the floor. He was like, step up. And he points. And I ain't move. I was like, man, where you want me? He was like, on the X. And I was like, what X? And I'm just looking at him. What X? Right there, I'm like, 
This one? I'm trying to irritate him now. But it ain't getting to right him. right down the bum o'clock floor, boy. <laughs> it wasn't getting to him. I ain't, I ain't brush nothing. He brushed me right off his shoulders. He was just like, right there. And I was like, which one? And he was like, this one. I was like, all right, this one right here? You sure? All right. And then he looked at his computer. He was like, he doesn't have digital ID. You over there. And you? Yeah, he's over there. And I'm like, hey, man. So, I, you know, I got to say something. I was like, I don't care what you say. It say digital ID right here. And the lady was like, just take the picture. I'm like, I got to get up under his skin somehow. Nah, you I ain't going to get nah, up under his uh -uh. skin. He doing this all day. Oh, you just a this man, <laughs> y'all know. Listen to me. He was facing like this. When I came up and asked him that question, that dude crossed his leg and he looked just hold your question. And he did not turn and look at me until he needed me on that X. The reason I'm laughing so hard is because I, I have a I've had and have a lot of encounters with Jamaican people. <laughs> and they level of rude. Man. I don't even. I can't even call it rude. It's just the way they are. Mm -hmm. Direct. <laughs> you know, if you walk in a Jamaican restaurant and they are rude, you know the food about to be bomb as hell. I went to this one restaurant. Somebody referred me to. It's like, oh, you. I love Jamaican food. It's like you gotta go over here and try this. I walk in there and dude literally said, "What do you? What you want?" Mm -hmm. Not good morning. Not that no, wasn't good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, did you need a menu? He didn't even look at me. What you want? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is about to be fire <laughs> as hell. <laughs> uh, that punk ass dude, man. Then I just start asking questions. I'm like, hey, y'all got this? I asked for one thing. He was like, uh, he said, well, of course, it's on the menu. Uh. I said, then I asked for veggie patty. Everybody always run out of veggie and chicken patties. Mm -hmm. I was like, let me get a veggie and chicken patty. We're out of those. I said, but they on the menu. Mm. Look, man, we're yeah. out. I was like, all right, I'm just saying, it's on yeah, the menu. Yeah. Got you now. <laughs> but it didn't bother him. It was like, oh, well. <laughs> it didn't bother him at all. Just like it didn't bother that TSA worker. I was mad. Man, you ain't that going. Was, that was so, <laughs> it was shocking to me. I'm like, man, what is it about me? Am I a magnet? Like, they going, I'm going to get tested all the time now. I uh, told you that was going to happen. <laughs> we... <laughs> We thought me and Josh was like, oh, it's a good oh, morning. Man. We got to the airport early, on time. There was a long line for uh, Sky Priority. <laughs> and then this digital ID, nobody in line yeah. to check our bags, right? So uh, we walk up. The lady was like, y'all got digital ID? We're like, yes. So we do have it. It's on our boarding pass. She scanned our face. She said, it, it say you don't got it. And I'm like, ah. Oh. And this line is like wrapped around. Yeah. And she was like. I got y'all. And she bagged us, tagged everything. Yeah. And took it out. I'm like, bet. Cool. Me and Josh were like, da, 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 da. got to this dude. Hold your question. <laughs> what was he doing, though? He wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> Man. <laughs> this is what he was doing. You had first. <laughs> sit across his leg hey, and look in the opposite direction. Look in the opposite direction. <laughs> Hold, your, Hold your question. <laughs> first, my first complaint is. Clear is becoming like a regular line, and the clear uh, membership is not um, staying up to its standards like it should be. So the priority line, the regular line going through the checkpoint was long as hell. Clear was long as hell. And then right in the middle, it was just this open lane digital yeah. ID. I was like, bet, I did this. I got it. Yeah. So that guy was sitting there at the end of the line. Scan in your face, goop, you can go, goop, you can go, yeah. you know, because digital ID. Before I could step up to have him take my picture, he held the line, right? Matter of fact, he didn't hold the line. He didn't call me up. And that's, you know, being courteous and understanding what's happening. Don't move until they call you. So I'm just sitting there. And then I'm like, dang, you know, she said I shit wasn't working. I don't want to be here. And I should just go ahead and go to clear. Yeah. So as we're waiting, he's sitting there. And he ain't even making eye contact <laughs> with you, but he's just doing it. So I'm like, excuse me. He got the little um, camera in front of his face. So I'm like, excuse me. Uh, blase, blase. Trying to finish my question. <laughs> he wasn't doing nothing. 
He, my question wasn't impeding nah, on anybody. You, you probably came off rude. No, I said hey, I wish hey, Josh good. was here. Hey, hey, man. No, nope. you don't see us standing. No, nope. <laughs> I said excuse me. I'm I'm highly concerned about my digital ID situation. <laughs> this man didn't let me get my question out. He didn't let me get my question None out. None of that matters, man. That man, Josh. I turned around. Josh was like, "Hey." <laughs> Hold your question. I probably would have been laughing the same way. Hold on, was it morning? Was y'all tired? Yeah, it was oh, morning. Yeah, I would have been, like, been like, I'd have been like, damn, I'd have been vexed. Yeah. <laughs> Hold your question. Oh, man. Punk. He's a punk. <laughs> Chunk. But anyway. You could have said that to him. He wouldn't have cared. <laughs> I would I I have felt better. Man, that man chumped the hell out of me. He was, oh, man. Hold your question. It was like that... Uh, What's his name? The Rock. The Rock's like, what's your name? you like, oh, my name. It doesn't matter yeah. what your name is. <laughs> and man, I was like, hey, can you hold your question. And I have my question. He said, you know, where you flying to? Or it doesn't <laughs> matter where you flying to. That's exactly what that punk did to me. And I held my question, too. I ain't say shit else to him. Oh, man, one of yeah. my friends, uh, she used to date this uh, Jamaican dude. And they went to go, went to Jamaica to visit, you know, his family. Mm. And they was, he was like, I'm going to take you out, you know, so you can see the town. He was like, you can only go certain places because they say yep. that. He said, he said, then my mom, because he still he has a like really thick accent. He said, his mama was like, you are going to go out to those streets and someone is going to stab you in the neck. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's just dangerous out there. It was just like so specific about yeah. what was going to happen. And it was like. She just brought up all these scenarios. Oh, shit. <laughs> but to hear him tell the story of like with his accent, doing but. her even thicker accent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this man here. Oh, man. No remorse. We was in. Uh, he knew, he must know me from somewhere. Was we in the. We wasn't in the. We was in. He did that shit intentionally. He uh, knew he was going to get up under the islands. Turks and Caicos, I think. I don't know where we was. We it was these two women. They started talking. One of them was Jamaican. I don't know what the other one was. You can hear the dialect difference in the accent. Mm -hmm. And man, that we was in this store, like just looking at the clothes and stuff. And they started up this like loud conversation. It was like two, three of them. Mm -hmm. I could sit and listen to that all day, just hearing the way they was talking. I said, Angel, I am thoroughly entertained by this. I don't can I can only understand half of what they say. She was like, I know it's like hypnotizing. <laughs> The accent is nice. Yeah. Mm, especially the women. I don't care. Yeah, damn about y'all I used to uh this uh I used to say all the time when I was doing uh, commercial buildings, maintenance mm -hmm. this uh lady, she was asking about something, something about the power when they one of the suites. Mm -hmm. And from her saying it, I've been repeating this to myself for years now. She's like, do, do you do it in the electric cow room? Like <laughs> I've been saying from that moment electric for like the cow. past twelve years. I've been saying electric cow room. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's just them, but when you talk when you talk to um, a Jamaican and they and they when when they're speaking to you for some reason you end up almost sounding yeah. like them saying "guan." Well, yeah. yeah, I'm and you like oh I'm not mocking you. Just, yeah. oh, I just came I want to like talk that. like that. Yeah. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. And do that um. That little, I can't even do it. And they suck their teeth. Oh, I ain't never seen that. Oh, man. My mama do it all the time. Dude, she you... mad at somebody. And she, <laughs> I can't even do it. But it's, <clears throat> they be smuck, sucking their teeth. Yeah, it's a restaurant out here. I go to <clears throat> all the time. And the owner, a Jamaican restaurant owner, he's from Jamaica. And every time he see, hey, how you doing there? Like, he recognizes mm. me. I don't even want to respond. I just want to hear him talk. <laughs> yeah. Where y'all today? They should get a well, reality show, the Jamaican reality uh, dating show. That'd be cool. You got anything to get out your uh, chest? I don't think Hold your question. <laughs> That's what I should have said to you. <laughs> you <laughs> it's going to be the, no, yeah. the new It Doesn't Matter. Hold <laughs> your question. <laughs> oh, can't wait till I get home. McKinley asked me, so hold your question. <laughs> she going to look at you the same way. <laughs> like, what? I'm gonna do it in the mail today. Hold your question. Oh man! But yeah, what you got? Oh, yeah, or or uh, anything? I was trying to think. That knocked everything. Kissing the teeth. Yeah. 
Uh, that knocks that knocked everything. I don't have. I don't think I got nothing to get out of my chest, y'all. Yeah. Let me think. No, I think I'm Gucci. You Gucci, Gucci. Yeah. All right. Uh, just scrolling through the internet, y'all. This is jumping to a whole nother subject. No segue. Um, did y'all know that it costs forty four cent to make a Starbucks drink? Just that. That that includes the cup, the straw, and the lid. And we be paying seven good twelve dollars a cup. I think we should just open a coffee shop. Yeah. I dare you. <laughs> Put some cause Starbucks, is Starbucks even coffee, man? It's more like it's like a a, a dessert now. Like a, yeah, a I milkshake. I don't know. All thing I usually get is a teas. Uh, That's right. I only see you. I don't. I don't drink coffee. Mm. Uh, I don't even think you could consider that shit coffee. To be honest, because ain't no beans up in there, is it? You ever seen beans behind the I counter? Ain't never seen no beans. <laughs> All I've seen is whipped cream, <clears throat> uh, foam, uh, caramel, and milk. I don't be seeing no coffee. I you can smell it, but. It seems like the coffees maybe, if it's a fourth of the cup that people be having, half the time it's just a shot. Yeah, yeah. of coffee, and then on top of that, it's just milk, foam, sugar, sugar yeah. and whatever Caramel artificial and flavoring. Yeah, I mean, they are making hand over fist money, but you got I me. Mean, you got to pay your employees. Do they pay? I think they one of them companies that pay well, don't they? I don't think so. I think they it's ain't like a, a Chick Fil A and a In and Out where they do like go above and beyond. If somebody work for them, they might. Hey, if so, they making <laughs> enough to to handle all that. But um, if you making five to ten dollars a cup, shit. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's anything though. But yeah, people got make. By the time you get to, they got the you know the price of the. What it talk, took to make it, but then the equipment that it takes to make it, and then the price of the cup that they give, mm. and all that. I don't know what their profit is on every cup. I don't. Who knows? By the time you take out the percentage of paying an employee and the electric bill and all that, divide that by, by the amount of cups and what it takes to keep the building open. I don't know what the outcome is, but that's anything. The cost that it takes to make a car versus selling it. Let's see then. You gonna try to look it up right now? I'm about to see the average <laughs> revenue of Starbucks of a Starbucks store. Anyway, uh, while he's doing that, compared to 900k in 2022, da, 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 allow. Let me see what y'all over here in Patreon saying. Each store averages. 945k a year so you talking <clears throat> let's just say you got five no let's say 10 workers mm -hmm. and you paying them 40 grand is that 400 grand if you got 10 workers mm -hmm. yeah that's 400 grand so you still got six five to six hundred round it up to a million 600 grand yeah 600 grand profit but then like you said Said electric, electric, and all water, that. and all that yeah. expenses. We just guessing. Let's say three hundred more. So you got three hundred left over. So you, you pocketing three hundred, depending on taxes and all this stuff. And that's at ten employees. <laughs> you know, Starbucks don't be having ten employees. They be having like four people back there making drinks. Anyway, that was just a, a thing I saw, and I'm like, damn, I thought the. The the, the uh, coffee would cost at least a dollar fifty or something. Nah, by the time you buy it in bulk, but forty cent, forty four cent. Man, I need I need to get a franchise to create. I make some coffee, man. Yeah, you done sold stuff before. You know what it costs to make stuff versus sell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coffee, Moving on, man. Coffee that new dope though. Coffee be on every it corner. It ain't the new dope. Coffee been, been that dope. Yeah, it been that, yeah. 
They be on every. People be going through withdrawals once they stop drinking coffee. Yeah. Headaches and stuff, shaking. Yeah. I know people that if they don't have a cup by a second cup, if people I work with, they would have to have a second cup in the afternoon or they would get a headache. Dang. I'm like, that's called an addiction. Yeah. Nicotine, is it, what is it? Um, caffeine. Caffeine. I ain't caffeine like that. I could drink. Anyway, moving on. Uh, let me tell y'all how crazy. Well, I don't even know how crazy this is because some may take it like it's cool and some may take it as if it's normal. Canadian police. So <clears throat> this also came across my feed. The Canadian police versus Florida police. Okay, so both of these areas of are having issues with people breaking into homes um, and the uh, police addressed their community. So in, uh, in Canada, the police addressed the community like, hey, these criminals are coming to um, steal your cars, basically. So what you need to do is leave your fobs and your keys at the front of the house by the door so if they break in they just grab your keys and they go and you don't have to fight off the intruder um so this is a tip from the canadian police don't make it hard for them basically just give it up but then you get to florida and the florida police department they all lined up in front of the police department you know how them good old boys do it and they like hey if you want it, come get it. We will shoot you. Basically, that's exactly what they said. Then they said they will deputize their communities and give them the right to tote guns and to shoot any intruder. I'm with that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but also, like, no, nah, I'm with that. I can't even I can't even play with it. Mm -hmm. I think Canada tripping. Yeah, I don't, are guns legal in Canada? I don't think I don't think guns are legal anywhere but the United States of America. Yeah. I mean, they legal other place. I think we have the definitely the loosest laws in the world because it's even like what people would consider terrorist countries. Guns ain't legal. <laughs> so mm. like, uh, but yeah, I don't like regular civilians don't be having guns like that. It'd be the dude, the the dudes, criminal. Yeah, the criminal. Um, <clears throat> y'all know guns are legal in Canada, but they would they would do the same thing in like Chicago, even Atlanta, around the holidays. They tell people keep your windows rolled down, leave your trunk open, mm -hmm. and everything unlocked because people gonna want to just want to see what's in the vehicle. Uh, so to keep from breaking the window, okay, that just makes let sense. them see that it's already empty. Mm -hmm. But if it's an issue, like I mean, I ain't I didn't even know nothing about car theft being that bad but I'm the same way you breaking my house I'm gonna say I'm gonna send you on to meet him and I don't know why you breaking in my house I'm not gonna make it easy for you yeah that circles <clears throat> back to squatters being mm -hmm. in the house why are people coming home and not acting as if these people broke into their homes and shoot them this is an intruder. I don't know he's squatting in my home. Yeah, I, if I walk in and you're there, I'm like, oh, shit. I'm running to wherever yeah. my pistol is. I'm going to tell you, bro, you, I'm, I'm shooting you because my kids and everything. I don't know what. You just ain't going to tell me you're a squatter. And I'm like, oh, okay, you good to go. I'm not afraid anymore. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if this, how would that work? Yeah, I, I I never looked far enough into it to figure out this whole squatter thing. I'm gonna have to look into it because it does intrigue me of how, I just, like we talked about last week, like why it became a thing, but why it's still a thing. I know here it started in, in eight what was it 1851 or something it's like some that. Bullshit. And here we are. <laughs> I know in L.A. you can't shoot people in the back, or if they don't pose a threat, or if they're if they don't have a gun on them, you can't. Yeah, L.A. Not even L.A. California is strict, just strict on gun laws. Period. <laughs> California is the only one. New York, if uh, yeah, shooting somebody in the back is mm -hmm. illegal. Even if you uh, like were to break in somebody's house, basically you have to be like barricaded. You're supposed to be barricaded in a room, mm. and that person crossed that threshold. 
Oh, damn. Like, I done looked up all these things. Anytime there's a shooting in California, the goal is for somebody to go to jail. They don't care. Mm. So you pull the trigger. It's just like their goal is to get somebody in jail, regardless of self-defense or whatever it is. There's people, there's enough uh, extremely extreme liberal people, extreme liberal judges and attorneys you could be protecting your family, barricading in a room. Somebody come in there in your house with a gun. You shoot them, shoot them and kill them. They're like, their goal is to let people see how dangerous guns are and to try to get you in a jail. That's, that's crazy. It's, it's jacked up. It's, it's really messed up. Uh, well, but then you also on the conservative side, you got these other states where it's just like people in, like people think I'd be coming down on Florida. It ain't us that I be coming down when I talk about Florida, okay? <laughs> it's the way he tells it be crazy. But other states, you got Florida, you got Texas, Arizona, and all this, where you just got people just doing whatever the hell they want to with guns. But then you got cops able to apprehend a full-grown alligator, mm. but they can't apprehend a grown man that ain't got nothing in his hands. There's no... Um... I don't I don't think there's a median between in this situation when you have somebody breaking into your home. I don't I don't believe the homeowner has to be a hundred percent sure this person is a threat before reacting because you don't have that much time to react. Right. So. If you just kick in my door and I'm sitting at the kitchen table, I don't have time to to make sure you don't have a right. weapon or whatever else it mm -hmm. is. I should automatically be able to what what the police say? Um the threat. Kill the not kill neutralize the, threat. the threat. Neutralize the threat. You know what's messed up about that? Is there are people have that burglars robbers that have sued homeowners because they got hurt on their property. <laughs> like, I'm going to break in your house. I fall and hurt myself. I now uh. sue you because I got hurt on your property. That's why they, when they call an intruder getting shot, they call it a clean shooting is when you kill them because they can't mm. sue. Oh, so that's why it's a, so they can't sue. That's why yeah. it's called a clean You don't shoot. want to wound somebody when they break in your house. Oh, damn. Just FYI. <laughs> look, I done had to look, look, because I own guns. I'm going to protect my house and my family. I had to look all of this stuff up. So you got squatters that can just come in, do as they please. Um, and then you have intruders that can come in with the intention of doing you harm. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do your due diligence to avoid them, you wrong. Yeah, basically. It's messed up. My now there, Like I said, I've swing, seen things swing in different directions, especially out here in California. It's like it's illegal to shoot somebody like outside, like if they're not posing a threat, just trespassing on your property. Mm -hmm. That you going to jail. Like, why was this person on your property? Oh, they posed a threat. What were they doing? Basically have to be charging you with a... Uh, with a you know deadly weapon or something, mm -hmm. which is any blunt object, it could be a stick or anything. Breaking in your car, you uh, going nah. to jail? Yeah, it's <laughs> <So, sure. laughs> you know what I'm saying it's 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 crazy. He's like, but then you got other states literally just walking, crossing some the threshold between public and private property. They can shoot and kill you. Mm. You trespassing? Now see that type dumb. Sh um, yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. It really is. That's why, like you said, there's no medium. It's you got two. Com it's stupid. It really is. Well, hitting on this uh, squatter situation, um, I'm. It it keeps on bringing up this craziness on my thread. But in Brooklyn, this lady comes home from vacation, and she has two squatters in her condo. And she tries to get them out. And the uh, squatters kill her and put her in a duffel bag. That's They need to get rid of these squatter rights. 
however it needs to be done, it needs to be uh, hey, terminated. You know how it's going to happen. The video, Greg sent me a video of this dude. Um, he's oh, crossing yeah. the border or about to cross the border from uh, basically South America, Mexico to the U.S., and he's basically just explaining the squatter rights. Like, you can just, he's saying it in Spanish, like, you can just break in these houses and stay there, and they can't kick you out. Like, yep. telling everybody, come over here, do this. That's that's how it's going to change. Dude is <laughs> like gonna this. They're going to see another race doing something that they've been doing. Yep. <laughs> Dude is like this Hispanic guy, Latino, whatever he is. He's FaceTiming himself, recording himself, and he's in. I'm a uh, translate in English, but he's saying this in Spanish. Hey, boy, there is a law here. If you find a vacant house, you can come stay in it, and it's yours. Come on, I'm telling you, I got Tank doing it, my other partner yeah. doing it. They over. Hey, let's run through this thing. Let's overrun this thing. Come on. That's, All right. that's what he's doing. <laughs> but everything he's saying this in Spanish, in yeah, in Spanish, and it sounds way more energetic than what I did. I oh, got yeah. hype about it when he was doing it. I was, <laughs> I was like, like, yeah. yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. It yeah. was they find and go. Also. Yeah, somebody else said it too. I do it. When we go out of town, uh, I back my vehicles up to the garage and I load them at night. Oh, so yeah, nobody yeah. knows we leave in town. Mm. I, um, a lot of times we have drivers, so the everything's at the house anyway. But yeah, if I drive to the airport, no, nobody see me ever see me put luggage in my truck. They, uh, my neighbor across Even the street, I trust my neighbors, bro. and my neighbor next door. Usually when I leave, I just text them. Like, yeah, same. Hey, just letting y'all know I'm leaving. Yeah, blase blase. I got my neighbors across diagonal beside me and right across, direct diagonally across the street. We mm -hmm. always text like, "Hey, we out of town," and he, the ones across the street they know. Like y'all need to let me know if y'all got somebody showing up. Cause mm -hmm. one time I saw they, their their uh, I think it was their grandson or nephew showing up, mm -hmm. and I was headed across the street. I was like, "Wait, this he looked way too comfortable in this." <laughs> Walking in this house, let me chill out. <laughs> so I text him. He was like, "Oh yeah, that's my." Uh, I can't remember what the relationship was, but he was uh -huh. like, "Yeah, he's home from the service." I said, "This man a marine grade. Twist me up like a pretzel." Boy, <laughs> probably lay down. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, son. What you? What's up? <laughs> Draw down on you. Yeah. yeah, this that's that could be a a company or a business you can start. Hey, you leaving for the weekend or leave mm -hmm. for this? We are st we are stay in your garage two hours a day. Just make sure it's something's happening yeah. because the squatters they're showing they're they actually like casing people houses out, mm -hmm. and as soon as you leave, they break in. They just put up shop, which is wild. And I also thought I need to do more research too. I also thought that you had to stay in the house more than thirty days to gain rights. But in reality, um, some videos I saw, once they move their stuff in and change the locks and like they like um secure the home, it's like theirs. Whatever happened to breaking and entering? Like breaking And that's what it is. <laughs> None of this makes sense. Like, yeah, dang. It doesn't. And it's almost like a it's a play, man. It's a it's a strategy. This all of this is gonna come out and you're going to see that this law was a part of a bigger um, plan because it makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. Oh, wow. What's that? I don't said uh, she has a distant cousin who uh, has dual, dual residency in New Jersey and Florida. He had been he hadn't been to the home in Florida for over a year. And now his home is being occupied. The renters have a lease. People crazy, man. Man, yeah, they trying the right ones. People's is crazy. So there's another guy on Instagram where he does. He uh, oh HOA is gonna eliminate that. That makes sense. His his company, somebody has made a company. His company, they stake out the house to see how many squatters there is, mm -hmm. and they like okay, he leaves this time, she leaves this time, whatever, whatever. So they buy locks. They uh, bring a gang of eight people with them, and they have this dump truck. And as soon as they leave, they back up to the house, 
break in the house, take all this shit, put it in the all dump the truck. Stuff. Yep. Put them in the dump truck, change the locks, lock it up, and then the homeowner's like, okay, now you have to take me to court. If if you want this, if you trying to fight oh, this, now yeah, you got yeah. to take, you me, take to court. me to court. Or they and they call the police and they're uh -huh. like, hey, this is my house. My doors are locked. No one's here. Blah blah blah. The squatter comes back like my stuff was in there, and everybody like, we don't know what he talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to do something yeah. like that. You're not. Yeah. That's absolutely because I'm just like, they was like, oh, you got these cameras up. I'm like. Do you have access to the camera system? Yeah. No. Oh, I do. <laughs> well, let us see the footage. Nah, it's deleted. <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm interested in this uh, whole squatter situation. I, I really want to see what's going to come of it and why it, why it even exists and why it, um, why does it still exist? I, yeah, I, why is it still? I think the one main reason it still exists is the right people were still taking advantage of it. Yeah. But now, as soon as everybody else gets a hold of this, that they can do it, they're going to change their law. Bec you know what? It's probably, well, I don't know. It's probably a legitimate reason, but it was probably for. Um, it was a housing, it was a housing crisis. That's what she read. Oh, a housing last, crisis. Yeah, in 19, 18, 1851. Hmm. And you know who that was mm -hmm. there to protect. Yeah. <laughs> well, damn. All right. Well, moving on to the main story of the uh, evening of the month of 2024. This man, P. Diddy, is, is crazy. Everything about his life right now is crazy. This guy had two of his homes raided. I'm not sure what type of evidence they're looking for. I know it's human trafficking. I don't know if they're yeah, it was uh, literally Homeland security, so it got to be trafficking. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely human yeah. trafficking. I don't know what evidence you look for when you're looking for human trafficking, other than like a room full of humans yeah. or whatever. But um, his yeah. children were there. Um, both sons, I believe, were at one of his properties, but. That's a that's a crime and a uh that's a that's a crazy crime, man, for you to be Did he he, he committing white people crimes. Human trafficking. <laughs> you got Homeland Security raid your house. That's 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 rich white people crimes. That's what's his name? Epstein, man. <laughs> yeah. You you the black Epstein. This from from what I've seen in the past and things and stuff that I've read, by the time a organization like that raids something they already have enough evidence they're just going after more oh yeah yeah, yeah. like because they got to get warrants and all of that just to go i mean not warrant what's it called yeah it's warrants warrant. and all that to, mm -hmm. just to get it has to get approved to get raided mm -hmm. they're like why you want to raid this so they got to present because the last thing they want to do is get sued by diddy for ro rolling up in the house yep so they already convinced the judge like look at all this evidence we got mm -hmm. already <laughs> All we need is A and B. We got C, D, E, and F already. They're like, do it. Matter of fact, you had to get, well, I don't know how Homeland Security worked. I don't know if they had, they probably don't go have to go by state to state laws and all of that jurisdictions, but you raid two houses at the same time in two different states. That's, <laughs> you know how well, -y, well planned that got to yeah. be? <laughs> like, S, yeah. I feel bad. Uh, me and Angel talked about it. We actually, when did we hear about this? Last week? When was we over Breach's house? Monday. Mm -hmm. Monday. We were sitting there talking. That's when it like had just happened. It was like, we was damn near watching it live. We were sitting there talking about it. I was like, I feel bad for this man's family. Like, I don't know what kind of life, like, truly he was living and how much of that got passed down to his sons. I know he's got daughters. I'm like, was he protecting his daughters from all this stuff mm -hmm. and like exposing it? it, it did he create little monsters with his sons? He like created little monsters. Yeah, that's what's bad about it. And if if they weren't involved, the fact that they are now involved, yeah, because of him, that's where I feel most the most you know bad about I, what y'all saying over here. I think. Uh, 
I think it's just like any other uh, father, son, parent, daughter, whatever, you know, mother, daughter dynamic. W what you're doing in your daily life usually rubs off on your children. And um, if you're a football player, your son is probably going to be playing football. If you're a model or if you're a doctor, whatever, whatever, your daughter is going to be a model or a doctor. If you're an entertainer, they're going to be an entertainer. And once they got, once his kids got of age, shit, throwing parties and stuff like that at the house, I know he's like, come to the parties. If not even when they were younger. But I know his sons are indulging in all type of shit because they, I mean, yeah. they be on the internet doing it. So I, I know for, uh, I can say a fact that, Shit, they they participating in whatever going on mm -hmm. in that in that house for the simple fact that they the entire time, um, what's this dude name? Um, Usher. There's an interview with Usher. He's basically confessing or explaining that man. I saw some things I wasn't supposed to see at 16, 15, 16 years old. Oh you yeah. in these parties and in these houses. I'm sure he's, he saw some things and did some things he wasn't supposed to do at sixteen. He's saying it. Yeah. So it ain't no story. It's the truth. Uh did it just man, I just don't understand how you're worth so much money, then and you're a celebrity, and why you have to um be evil about shit. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's a, it got to be a power trip. Like just the from who he is, there's already p plenty of people out there that'll be more than willing to do yeah. whatever it is that he wants mm -hmm. without force. Without force. That's all I'm saying. I know these women, I know these men uh are willingly doing whatever you want them to do. Why you got to drug this person? <laughs> Why you got to beat this person? Why you got to yeah. fly these people all over the place and then pimp them out to other people? What, what? Bruh. Yeah, it's been, and it's been, these accusations have been going on for a long time. Forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. And on him, I don't know, the industry, the music industry, period, music, entertainment industry, let's just say that. Mm -hmm. Let's not even, <clears throat> been going on for a long time. And he ain't the first celebrity that's been going on for a long time. Did you hear? People still defend some of these people. I don't feel like going into it, but go ahead. Did you hear? <laughs> Hold on. Thank y'all. Uh, they said they like my shoes, and somebody said this plant about to die. This plant will never, ever die. It's not capable of dying. Because it's made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> we should That's go back in some videos yeah. to see if the <laughs> see if the leaves change, if the colors change. You might need to dust it off. That's about it. <laughs> uh, you can fire, you can shoot at this thing. It ain't never dying. Found the youth over there. Found the youth. Uh, Twitter, Twitter. I see why the government wants to ban like Twitter. No, TikTok. Uh, TikTok. Yeah. I mean, just all this social media shit, period. I can see why there would be somebody trying to um I'm glad you brought this up. To get rid of it. Because, man, I just heard a video supposedly of Meek Mill and P. Diddy doing the butt. Oh shit. You went there. They don't care about that bullshit. Man, y'all <laughs> listen to this. It's 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 gonna take you there. You gonna be like, God, is that how they talk? Is that, yeah, it's crazy. But the simple fact, AI, or or just the internet in general, somebody can manipulate voices and make this sound like it's these guys, and you you really. You have to just use your own judgment, and people are thinking it is these guys because it sounds like them. But the the, the internet be putting this crazy shit out. When you hear it, you are gonna see what I'm talking about. It's, I've seen them. I've seen them manipulate people's faces and voices before. Well, this is. But I now that I know that that's a thing, I'm just like, 
I don't trust that bullshit. Man, that video is crazy. And nah. it's crazy that people put it out there for the world to hear it. It's just, oh my goodness. I, I was gonna approach it from a completely different level than what Greg just brought it up because the government don't give a shit about what Diddy and Meek Mill did. Mm. I was gonna approach it from, I see why they, I mean, a lot of people see why they wanna ban TikTok. It's a control thing. Mm. Uh, like I watched a video, like the war that's going on, you know, the God in, in Gaza and everything that it, it, it has exposed the tr the truth uh, behind the war. Before we would just have to rely on the news, oh. but because TikTok is not to an extent, it doesn't uh, have to follow the rules of the U.S. and what's allowed to be seen on there, as long as it ain't too graphic and everything. People can tell their own stories, people that we would have never heard from heard of or anything and they can just put it out there post it and we see it so now we see the truth with all these invasions that's going on and the bombing we can see that it's not completely one-sided the same way that the news was portraying mm -hmm. so it's a control thing that that's the main reason that's the only reason it ain't got nothing to do with people our security they don't give a damn about people getting a hold of our personal uh personal information hell they sell our personal information they don't give a damn about none of that the fact that you can talk, you can have these hostages that came out and said, actually, when they're kidnapped, is they made sure we were safe and they was feeding them. Mm. The bad people and the terrorists were raping the kid. Now, actually, they were making sure that we were safe and they just said that they wanted their own people back. You know, stuff like that. Every industry has secrets that are published and told from the beginning of time, mm -hmm. except for the military. Yeah. Those secrets never get out. Mm -hmm. My brother was in the military. He'll talk about, oh, yeah, we did this, we did that. Uh, yeah, I can't talk about that. I don't ask him why. I leave it alone. Mm -hmm. I saw a video the other day, and I usually see this about with retired, uh, you know, with veterans, them saying, you know, this, that. I saw a video on TikTok the other day. This dude was saying he's actively in the military right now. He was talking about, you know, how many people he's had to kill. You know, they've been in the battles and stuff. And he was just like, I want, I don't want to be here no more. Mm. I want to go home. They was like, would you uh, do it all over again? He was like, absolutely not. I wouldn't suggest anybody do this. He said, ever. You've never heard <laughs> somebody actively in the military, because they're not allowed to say stuff like that. You have mm. no rights when you are in the military. They take that from you. Mm -hmm. You don't get that. So for him, there, there are people that go over there. It's like He believed in what he was doing. As far as being a soldier and feel like he was protecting and doing this, he believed in that, but he was just like, nah, I wouldn't suggest anybody do this. It's horrible. It's like that dude that uh, caught himself on fire. Ooh. You didn't see that? Did you Ooh, see that? I seen it. Did you see the whole video? Yeah. And that I'm like, that's crazy. the type of stuff that, that you ain't going to see that on. I don't think you will see that on YouTube because it mm. gets snatched down because they're held to a different jurisdiction to where if it's posted on TikTok, it's just there. Yeah. My goodness, that was wild. Yeah, that yeah. So it's yeah, it's definitely like that's that's where I was gonna go with it. He talking about did he? <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> it's like it's that yeah. definitely a control thing. They don't give a damn about uh yeah to protecting our our identities and all that type of crap. They don't care. It's all about a control thing because that con that company. It's you know Singaporean. Is that what it's called? Singaporean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or whatever. Well, um, it's it's not Singaporean. The 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 owner, I think he's Singaporean, and then they're trying to band it. They were trying to say he was from uh, uh, Chinese, and he's like, "No, I'm Singaporean." And they were trying to make Singaporean and Chinese the same thing. Yeah, yeah. The only time I've heard people talk about uh, military stuff they went through in the military, they were like older, like you know, in the 60s and 70s telling stories. It's mm -hmm. like, well, you know, this happened. Every now and then you get a documentary that comes out. It'll say stuff that, you know, like world, I love watching the World War II documentaries, mm. World War One and Two, Band of Brothers and all that, where it's telling these stories. But you never hear about it when people right now actively in the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because then it, it hurts the cause of, you know, why they tell us that they send in our people over mm -hmm. there to do stuff. It's just like, well, they said this. But yeah, that one dude, he... Um, ended his. I don't know the right term to say. Ended his life. Why is, can't you say suicide no more? Is it's it just he unalived himself. Unalived himself. Mm -hmm. Uh, because he felt like he was committing genocide and he was helping commit genocide. Yeah. 
uh, I'm sorry he did that to himself. I, I, I still don't understand. I guess you're just trying to, he trying to get a point across and he took the Yeah, most, they were showing people on YouTube and Iraq being, you know, beheading and stuff, but they snatched that stuff. Go find one right now. Yeah. What you're saying is absolutely true. And it's all, the media is used to control the masses, period. And once you have control of the media, I mean, you top dog. That's why everybody looks at uh, black people a certain way. That's why we act a certain way because all of our movies, all of our music, everything is here to mold us to act this way. And that's all they push towards us is gangsters, drugs, prostitutes, uh, this aggressive manner that most black, not most, some black people have, but Why are you talking white? Or why are you talking proper? Just, what are you talking about? I didn't know I was, I'm supposed to sound a certain way. This is how I talk. Whatever, whatever. It's the media that puts it out there. And that's how they keep controlling us. And that's why, like you said, they trying to get rid of TikTok. I think TikTok, well, like you said, they do control. Is, is IG a, a US-based situation? IG's owned by, uh, I think IG, Facebook, Ooh, and YouTube is no. all owned by the same company. I yeah. think it's all of the same company. Well, uh, they're going to end up selling TikTok to a U.S.-based company and then saying it isn't a U.S.-based company anymore, but it's still going to be ran by the other people across the waters. Um, yeah. Now, somebody said... Uh, let us tell conspiracy. These ain't conspiracies. These are facts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this, this is <laughs> this ain't mm. what oh what is believed. This is actually what it is. Yeah. Cause you can man, can y'all imagine if TikTok or all this was around when our parents were growing up and all the racist shit that was happening and it would have come to light all the lies that the police them, them white women lying on men talking about they got raped by certain people and mm -hmm. 80 years done passed and women dying on their deathbeds telling the truth now like you would have had your granddaddy and his partners would have been filming hey no hell no he do you know this type of stuff would have been nipped in the bud or we would have become way smarter than what we are now cuz shit would have been happening 50, 60 years, 100 years ago. Okay. Oh, Facebook owns Instagram or Meta owns Instagram and Google mm. owns YouTube. Oh, that's what's crazy. I was watching this thing the other day. It was talking about, uh, what's that song? Everybody's going to recognize it when I say it, even though it's false. It's uh, Diamond in the Back by- it's On Rooftop. Mm. Yeah, by Curtis Mayfield. Yep. It's not a Curtis Mayfield song. Oh, when you Google it, mm -hmm. it's gonna pull up Curtis Mayfield. That is not he never made that song. The reason that it comes off that way is because Google, like anything else, once you put a certain amount of things in, that's mm -hmm. what it's gonna if we give you. That's what it's gonna give you. Mm -hmm. If you if enough people put in articles about the sky being black, when you Google what color is the sky, it's basically it's, I'm just dumbing this all the way down. It's gonna mm -hmm. come up black. Yep. So over time, when uh, they did that, when the original person did the song, they were, I was watching this whole thing about, uh, this whole time I thought Curtis Mayfield wrote that song. Diamond in the back, sun rooftop, dick in the sea with the a gangster lick. Mm -hmm. It's not a Curtis Mayfield song. So it's like Google, pe people think it's crazy like you Google something and it's like you believe it's fact because that's what it is. Google is it's a, it's basically AI like anything else. Mm. And it takes, just like you have to turn in research or a term paper or something, you have to show proof, you know, five different articles supporting your fact. Mm -hmm. Basically, Google does the same thing. If it can find five different things supporting this, mm -hmm. that's what it's going to put up as what it is. Damn. It's like, it's dope. It like, I'm not dope. It's crazy that, uh, yeah, you got to, 
do your re like a lot of people they do their research they research is google you go right to it or you youtube something like right on tiktok i can't stand that voice that comes on it's like it'll just show all these different facts they got that one man's voice mm -hmm. did you know that one day mm -hmm. if you were to do this and do that and people watching it is like dang did you know this i'm like i've watched those videos i'm like none of this is true and then you go to the comments and people was like man that's crazy i did i'm like none of this is true <laughs> that's what i'm that was my point when i was talking about p diddy and they putting up this sound of him and that dude doing whatever they were oh, doing yeah. that type of stuff like you can put anything out and literally you have to depend and think that the person are, is going to fact check that mm -hmm. but they're not Y'all know, I was one. Hey, I was reading stuff, and I bring it here and be like, "But did you see this?" And yeah. then Mel uh, text me like, "Hey, here's the article that didn't happen." One of my partners named Drew. <laughs> he fact check every single thing, and he's like, "Okay, here's the article. Here's the article about that article, and here's the article on that article. All that shit's fake, man. They just I don't know who created that." Yeah. And and that's the thing. You don't know who who's doing it and why they doing it. Yeah. The sky's yeah. blue only in this month and that month. And they, they say it and they do it so confidently and you think, oh, it's because everybody's just lazy. Oh, well, that, yeah. that has to be true. Right. Blase, blase. But that's I didn't know Google did that. Yeah, no, it's basically like anything else. It's an algorithm, and you know, it's almost like a learning thing where it's just like once enough information is put in on something, this is going to label it as. Now you can also Google go down deep enough, and it'll pull up like the actual stuff. Mm -hmm. But the most the common thing, the most yeah. popular thing, basically the popularity thing, is going to go to the top. So the first thing you look at is going to be with people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What people see, and that's the gonna be, you know, get pushed up because oh, this is this one has, you know, five hundred million searches, where this one only has a hundred thousand. So this is the one I'm gonna push to the top. Dang. Yeah. Internet is is uh, is a weapon. It's a tool. Yeah. It's a tool, and you know, if you use it wrong, because I'll be used wrong. <laughs> I've also been seeing a lot of these. Um, uh, these racial fights, like um, these white kids beating up this Asian girl, and then the Asian girl um, black friend beats up this white kid. Um, uh, these guys in the uh, locker room fighting these black boys. It's it's just a lot of like racial um, violence, and it's almost like they're brewing this stuff up to create some type of race type war or conflict and it's all because of the media and people putting stuff out there back to back you know because there's some there's you wake up in the morning and you see something we always on the phone it'll set the tone for your day man i yeah. wish the police we, would pull me over yeah the but day. we we do need to like wipe your search history and algorithm clean though <laughs> Like that's like you want everybody. What, you want everybody thinking like me though. No, we don't want nobody. I'm telling you, <laughs> you goose. I hey, I don't take it serious, man. I let it roll off my back. You feel me? No. <laughs> Greg be rooted in hey, these things. I'm like goose. What? I let, what? I let it roll off my back. You need people. More people like me. No, I don't take it serious. You understand? <laughs> no, I don't take it serious. God damn it. Hold your question. Hold your question. <laughs> <laughs> that shit wasn't AI. That was real yeah, life. Nah, it, 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 <laughs> he didn't exist. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what, what if he glitched and did something? I'm like, what the hell? Hold your question. All that right, was, that was the last up. one. Yeah, man. Goose, go and let them know where they can find you. You can catch me on IG. G double O L Z B Y. Building with Goose. On YouTube, and you can buy my merch at underrippedmerch.com. And you can check out me and my wife's new podcast on YouTube. Um, I'm not a lawyer, but. Congratulations on the podcast, the man. The debrief. Thank you, sir. The debrief? The debrief. I'm not a lawyer, but the debrief. I'm not a lawyer, but the debrief. Yeah. Hey, Greg, yeah. gonna, Greg gonna know what these 
multiple with this multiple podcast life. Oh, we ain't like, even talk about that. But you know, yeah. It's, he I, said, this is work. I whoop. said, who you telling? I'm like, <laughs> I'm sleepy as hell. It's, it, it can get tiring. It can get tiring. Hey, y'all can find me on Instagram at Marcus on the Gram, Facebook at Marcus on the Book, TikTok for right now. Tank don't talk. Y'all can find my beard and body butter called Man Shit, and you can go to M A N S H Y T dot com and check that out. And if you're listening, you can watch this across uh, on YouTube, Tanksley TV. Let us tell it. And if you're watching, you can listen to this, to this across all podcast streaming platforms. Mm-hmm. Also, oh yeah, join our Patreon, uh, That Chick Angel. Slash, no, what's it called? Patreon. Patreon.com slash that chick angel. And Patreon slash I'm not a lawyer, but. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We got uh, Cooking with the Tanksters. That's coming too. But anyway, we'll holler back at y'all, fam. Y'all have a good one.